In this film I'm going to show you how to make a blower unit for a forge. And the reason I'm needing to make a blower unit is my old treadle blower unit really got a serious malfunction and cracked on its bearings. And I haven't been able to sort it out, so I'm starting again and making a new blower unit. Well, what I want from a blower unit is something that's not too noisy. My last treadle was actually quite noisy. And also I want to be able to vary the actual speed of blow, so you can get high blow, low blow, depending on how hot you need the metal in the forge and how the fire's doing. So the solution I've come up with is using a car blower unit. Well, my old car's an old Volvo V40, so I thought, right, I'll get a blower unit for Volvo 340 from the scrapyard, as I know it's a nice quiet unit. And also, it would give me a spare if I didn't use it in the forge. <laughs> so, I've got hold of an old V40 blower unit, runs on 12 volts, as per all the car electrics, and I started making a box. And I just made this very rough wooden case with a bit of piping in the side to test out the blower unit. I sunk it in the case and fiddled about a bit. Now, the, the key thing I didn't appreciate about the blower, the way they work, is you need to have like a snail shape. So where I've got the pipe now with this box is about right. But I started with the pipe in the middle of the box and actually that, that just didn't work properly. They need to have the airflow going around and then out gently, a bit like a snail shell. If you think of a snail shell unrolling, the air shoots out. And like that, it's really effective. So that's the design I've actually used. The other little learning point I didn't fully appreciate was the air intake hole for the blower actually doesn't need to be as large as you think it needs to be. So this is actually a little bit on the larger size and a bit smaller would be ideal because if it's too large, the air sort of leaks out the side. So it's far better to have a slightly smaller air intake. So those, that's what I learned from doing the, the wooden box construction. I then went on to a metal version. So this is what I've come up with. Here's the car blower unit. And I think actually practically any car blower unit would work perfectly well. And I've sunk it into the old casing that I had on my furnace. Now the car blower unit is actually thicker so I had to separate the casing and actually put in a little bit of aluminium to sort of fill in the gap. But you could just make a wooden case, you could use an old paint tin, it doesn't really matter. You just need something to hold your blower unit. The air intake hole, as I say, I've kept it smaller, so that's the size of my air intake. The blower inside is just a standard squirrel cage blower. And there's the outlet. So that will actually plug into the back of my forge. And I've got quite a crude pipe on the back of the forge that this will just plug into. The ideal power supply for the blower unit would be a 12 volt car battery. <laughs> now, I haven't got a spare 12 volt car battery, but what I have got is a 12 volt car battery charger. And I think the blower unit probably uses something like eight to 10 amps. I tried it on a three amp transformer and it was just too underpowered. So what I've ended up with, I've got a car charger unit here and I've covered all options really because it's a 12 amp charger so it's quite a powerful one. It's more of a like a larger car com band size charger and it's got two selectors on the voltage. It's got a 6 volt and a 12 volt and it's also got a fast charge and a normal charge. So by varying these combinations I can go from quite a low current up to quite a high current and of course a blower goes slower or faster. And actually even on the six volt normal, which is the lowest setting, it does quite well. So if I need to do something like forge welding, I can obviously pop it up to fast 12 volt or something like that to get some real puff coming out. But the, the battery charger does seem to be quite a good power supply. Well, here's my blower unit. And as I say, it just goes over the forge. There's a pipe in the back of the forge and it just sits in there. So I'm gonna pop this in. And here's the pipe on the back of the forge. Literally just goes through to the Touillet and this just slots on. It's just a friction fit. So I just ground that on like that. And I just made this out of bits of old aluminium sheeting. It was a bit of an old campfire and it, it works fine. 